Hey guys, Drew back here with you for Z Code System. Today we're going to be talking about the upcoming NFL season and the race to get to Super Bowl 57, which is going to be an exciting one. We're coming off of last season, which was fantastic, with the LA Rams winning the Super Bowl 23 20 over the Cincinnati Bengals. And now we are ready for the upcoming NFL season, the 2022-2023 season. And this is uh, always a great time of the year. We've just got underway with preseason, and so we are going to uh, be going through August with all of these games so we get more insight and information. By watching preseason, it's always important to watch the preseason and to get to know the teams and even to have a punt at your favorite sports bookie uh, as we get ready for the upcoming season and the new season as we get ready for the Super Bowl coming up next February. That game will be played on February 12th. That game will be played on February 12th in Arizona, in Glendale, at the home of the Arizona Cardinals. So we're all getting excited for that. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the NFL season, the upcoming NFL season, and look at the futures odds for Super Bowl 57. All right, so today we're going to be looking at Bovada. I'm actually in the U.S. right now visiting some, some friends and family and uh, going to use the Bovada website to give you the, the futures odds for the upcoming Super Bowl. So a little bit different than what I normally do back home where I use Bet365 as my main online sports bookie. And as you can see there, the NFL season will be beginning uh, coming up in September, September 8th, that's a Thursday night, as the Buffalo Bills go to SoFi Stadium to play the Los Angeles Rams. And we can already see that the Buffalo Bills are the favorites to win that game at minus 135. Uh, Buffalo are the bookies' favorite. Leading bookies have them as the favorite to win the Super Bowl this upcoming season. While the Rams have, uh, even though they're coming off of winning the Super Bowl, they've dropped a bit. Uh, not necessarily the favorite to repeat as champions, just as the Cincinnati Bengals are not expected to, to go on and win the Super Bowl. Now, last year, keep in mind that the Rams were not one of the favorites to win the Super Bowl either, yet they uh, went on to to make it, win it in their home stadium in Los Angeles at SoFi Stadium. And uh, we also saw that uh, the Bengals, who were not favorites as well to make it to the Super Bowl, to win the Super Bowl, uh, they did exceedingly well. Uh, but this season, it looks like bookies are expecting the Bengals to, to, to fall off a bit and uh, not necessarily win the Super Bowl. As we'll see in the odds coming up, it's a very difficult AFC, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second. Uh, last season, though, the Bengals were plus 15,000 at this time before the season kicked off to win the Super Bowl, and we saw how they uh, surprised everyone uh, behind the arm of Joe Burrow. All right, so let's look at some of these futures odds, or the futures odds, for the winner of the Super Bowl 57 coming up this, uh, this year. And, of course, that game, like I said, will be taking place in February of 2023. And as you can see there, the Buffalo Bills are the favorites to win the Super Bowl at plus 600. Tampa Bay Buccaneers plus 700 to win the Super Bowl. But uh, you might want to take that with a little grain of salt. I've written about that in our preview. So you can read that there. Tom Brady having a, uh, a bit of issues right now, personal issues. And uh, that could affect the way that the Buccaneers play this season. And, to be honest, critics are... Uh, pundits have said that uh, Tom Brady has not looked great in preseason. Green Bay Packers, that's a team I really like to make it to the Super Bowl this year in the NFC. They're plus 1,000, and then the Chiefs, also plus 1,000. They've drifted a bit. Uh, they started a little, a little bit stronger at uh, one time in preseason. They were, or before preseason, I should say, during training camp. So uh, they were uh, co-favorites with Buffalo Bills at plus 750. Uh, they've drifted a bit to plus 1,000. But you know what? I do actually like the Chiefs and I like the Packers to make it to the Super Bowl. Those are my two picks. Chiefs to win the AFC, the Packers to win the NFC this coming season. And as you can see, there are the more odds for the rest of the team. One of the dark horses, I think, looking at this is uh, the Denver Broncos at plus 1,600, as well as the Dallas Cowboys at plus 2,000. I think those Two teams are uh, dark horses going into this season and two teams to watch out for. I don't really think that uh, NFC East is uh, necessarily that strong. And I quite like uh, what the Broncos have done this offseason, even though that AFC West is going to be incredibly difficult uh, with the Chargers there at plus 1,400 and the Chiefs, of course, at plus 1,000. So that AFC West could be a division in which teams simply just beat up on each other. And I think that AFC is completely stacked this season going into uh, going into the campaign. Now, I did say that the Bengals 
are uh, not really considered by bookies to be one of the favorites to win the Super Bowl this year. They're plus 2,200. And personally, even though I'm a Bengals fan, I I thought that they got hot at the right moment last season. They weren't necessarily the best team in the AFC, but again, they got hot and they made it to the Super Bowl and nearly won it, losing just 23-20 to and the Rams coming back there in the fourth quarter. Uh, I think the Bengals are going to have a fall off this season. I think there's going to be a hangover from last campaign. Even though they've gone out and they've made some signings, they really needed to upgrade that offensive line because Joe Burrow was beaten up quite a bit throughout the season. Um, and I just don't think that the Bengals can match those heights that they had at the end of the campaign. Like I said, they got hot at the end of the campaign. I think there's going to be uh, the idea, the thought that they can uh, start this new season in a similar fashion. But uh, in the end, I think they're going to fall off. And as we can see down there, uh, the Houston Texans plus 25,000. They are the longest shot at the moment to win the Super Bowl. Of course, Deshaun Watson was traded to the Cleveland Browns, and that's a whole mess. Uh, even though, you know, who knows when he'll be available. There's talk about him being available uh, halfway through the season. But right now that could change, uh, and the Browns are plus 3,000 to win the Super Bowl. So we'll see how that goes this season. All right, guys. That's going to do it for me here on this NFL preview. Of course, we just wanted to talk about the upcoming uh, Super Bowl odds, the, the upcoming NFL season, and the Super Bowl 57 odds. They're provided by Bovada. You can go and get some more in-depth information from our blog on the zcodesystem.com backslash blog website and read up all about everything that I've written there. And if you're not signed up to Zcode System yet, you want to go ahead and do that this month because the NFL season, like we said before, kicks off on September 8th. You've only got, well, you've got less than a month really to sign up and to go ahead and start getting all the great information in Insight that Zcode System posts there and to use those great betting systems that Zcode System provides. There's a lot of experts uh, there at Zcode System to help you out and to give you insider information, insights that will help you hopefully make profits on your NFL bets all through the season. And if you're not betting on the preseason games, just to get a little bit of your feet wet to get ready for the NFL season, then I encourage you to do that because this is a great time. You don't have to bet a lot of money. Just keep your eye on what's happening to get uh, get an idea of the trends, to get an idea of who's going to be playing where and uh, how strong they're going to be coming into the season. Now, you, can, you can't read everything into preseason, but you can read some into preseason, and I encourage you to get your feet wet with a bet or two on some NFL preseason matchups. And, of course, you can go over to Z-Code System, and you'll be able to get some picks from us there. If you sign up today, you'll be able to get those for the preseason games. But hurry, because these preseason is underway, and we are, like I said, less than a month away from the NFL season beginning. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me here on Z-Code System on YouTube. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up button to like, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And it's great to have you back here as we get ready for the NFL 2022 season. And we'll be coming to you live, or not so live, I guess. We'll be coming to you here on YouTube and on the website all throughout the season with our picks. So we'll see you soon, guys. Later.